Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to track Python variables using Jupyter. We'll do this using the who's magic command, which lists all interactive variables within a notebook. This includes the name of the variable, the variable type, and additional data related to the variable. I'm going to create two variables and also a function, then we'll list them out using the who's magic command. Now that we've created our variables, let's run the who's function. We're going to call the percentage sign, and then we're going to type in who's. And we can see we have the variables listed. We can see the first one is the NumPy module, and it also gives the location of the module. Next, we have a NumPy array. And then for the data, we can see that there are 2,000 elements within the array and that the type is a floating point number. Next, I created a function that takes the square root of a number, and we can see that it's listed as a function. Finally, I ran list comprehension here, and we can see that we have a list type with 2,000 elements. Now let's go through a actual use case scenario. Here I have a natural language processing workbook that I'm putting together for a tutorial. And I have a bunch of different variables and packages and functions that I've created, and it's hard to keep track. Let's say that I need to iterate over a certain list, and I want to create another empty list, and I want to call it word list. If I'm unsure if I put it in, what I could do is call the who's function to see if it's already existing as a variable. And we can see that it is, it's listed as a function. And if we were to run this, then we would overwrite our variable, which is why we would want to use who's to check before we ran this. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I included a link to a earlier video I made on some more magic commands that can be used within Jupyter and Google Colab. I also linked the built-in magic commands from the IPython documentation. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and Odyssey. Happy coding, everyone.